Good morning and welcome back. We got a couple projects we got to work on today. Man, it's like spring. A lot like spring outside. It's been like that for a couple of days. We got a whale of a mess here. Um, should have cleaned it up last night, but uh, I got a little lazy and didn't bother. We're going to take this piece of purple heart and this piece of purple heart. We have to make a couple of serving boards. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be like a like a flight board where you can put different whiskeys or different beers on there and serve it that way. Or, you know, we can put little candles on there. Whatever you want to do, it's, it's whatever she wants. We all know that's what it comes down to. It's whatever she wants. But I'm going to tidy up a little bit here, get things cleaned up so I can actually work in here. We're going to put a little bit of a unique touch on these things. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it and see what happens. First thing we're going to do is just square up this end so we know that we are working with a square end. I've used Purple Heart a lot in the past making duck calls. I forgot how it smells when you cut it. I'm debating whether to go 24 inches, which is going to leave me quite a bit of space in here. It'd be good for a flight, but I'm going to do one with candles. Probably want to just stop at 20 because then you can just space out your candles in between here. So I got one piece cut at 24. That's going to be for our flight. This one here is cut at 18. No, sorry, it's cut at 20. Get it right. And that is going to be for our candles. Before we get to sanding this down, I got an idea for a handle. The two. You need two, dummy. One on each end. But I'm going to make it out of ready rod. If I can bend the ready rod around without breaking it, we're going to try that. All right, time to explain what I got going on here. You might not be able to see it, but I got my lines on there. So my handle, which is going to come up over and back down I come in an inch and a quarter do my straight line did the same thing on the other end I then found my center point I went out inch and three quarter this way inch and three quarter this way this is this proper English folks this is where I'm going to drill my holes that I was going to bend the 3 8 ready rod to use for a handle now I'm not quite sure how that's going to work uh, in looking at the ready rod, I mean, it's not sharp, but it does have threads on it. I thought the threads would be kind of cool if I paint this black and I put them in there. I'm going to try it, see what it looks like, but I might end up going to get some round rod and bend up the round rod and put it in there. I mean, it's not very exciting, has no character to the round rod, but that may be the way we have to go. I don't have a bit to actually make the recess for the candles and or for the glasses for the flight board, so... We gotta go up town anyways. So I just tried a quick bend. Might have wanted to heat it up first, but I didn't. This is what happened. It broke. Looks like round rod it is. Now before I run up to the store, I'm gonna mark out where I want to put the holes for the candle. I find my center point at 10 inches. Is this a 20 inch board? So obviously I'm going to have one in the middle. I'm going to have one at seven. And one at four. So that's three inches apart. We're going to go the other way. We're going to have one at 13 and one at 16. Looks pretty even to me. I'll show you all. I don't know whether you can see these lines or not. But we got one here, one here. That's our center point. One here, one here. And that's our end. This is where our handle is going to be. But I'm pretty sure, well, as far as I can get for now, I'm not going to drill the holes for the ready rod handle or the round bar handle, round stock, round bar. It don't matter. I'm not going to drill the holes for that handle just yet because I can almost guarantee that if I drill that right now, when I get to the hardware store, I'm going to find some handles that I do like. And I'm going to end up buying them, but my holes are going to be too big on the board. So we're not going to drill that just yet. Oh, change of plans. And you got to know this is coming. We could not find the handles that we were looking for. There's nothing that were look nice. So what we decided to do is we are going to make this in a paddle style. With the handle down here, it kind of opens up and does the rest of it. And so on and so forth. I also could not find the right bit to put the holes in here so 
we're going through the hole saw we're going to go all the way through so the base of the glass will fit inside gotta improvise she's either gonna like it or she won't so i'll get all this drawn out and then i'll get back to you i got so many lines on here i'm finding it confusing anyway this is our six inch mark from here to here is six inches across to get the radius i used this fancy roll of tape i measured in a half inch and a half inch i put that on the marks and drew my circle there's there did it there and did it over here all half inch up at the top here to make the handle rounded measure down a quarter of an inch on each side put my handy dandy roll of tape on there and i got my edge here now all i gotta do move over to the bandsaw and cut that out and that should be my handle is it gonna work we're all about to find out All right, things are starting to get a little dicey around the bandsaw, but here's where we're at. So we've got a lot of sanding to do, but this is our basic shape. So we've got our arch in there, rounded the corner there. Handle's got a little bit of a round on it. I even did the end. How did I get this mark? Well, same thing. Three quarters of an inch down from each corner. And I took my wood bucket down there, used the base of that to get my arch across the two points. Not bad. What we're going to do is we're going to start sanding on this. We're going to get it down to where I think it needs to be, roughly. And then we're going to put the holes in it. And or should I put the holes in it first? I'm going to put the holes in it first. So here's what we're going to do. I measured from the base of the handle to this line going across right here. Not sure why, but I did. I got 17 and a half from here to here. Found the center. Went over three and a half inches, three and a half inches. This way, three and a half inches, three and a half inches. I'm gonna grab my hole saw. I'm gonna cut probably inch and a half holes. I'll get a base of a beer glass or something in the bottom of that. It should fit. If not, then I guess it is what it is, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut inch and a half holes in there, all the way along in the middle. And as usual, it'll work or it won't. Well, the biggest hole saw that I got is two and an eighth. It's gonna have to do. I know it'll fit my whiskey glass. All right, here goes nothing. We'll try that again. certain if I charge this one or not. We're about to find out. Nope. I'll get back to you. All right, I just put one on the charger. I don't know if I got enough beans to even cut one, but we're going to give it a shot. Two, three, four more. And I don't know that I got the juice in here to do four, but we're going to try. Well, two and a half we got before we're dead in the water. We're going to have to let the batteries charge a little bit and get back at it. Now, normally I'd use this opportunity to take a break, but 
I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to try to turn over a bit of a new leaf. Not a big one, just a little leaf. And uh, we've got the sander out. We're going to smooth out the edges a little bit and do what we can on the handle. The inside edges are going to be a little bit tricky, but we can make that work. All while the battery's charging. Look at me, killing two birds with one stone. Not really, you dummy. I guess if you'd have plugged your batteries in, you wouldn't be in this predicament, would you? No, you wouldn't, as I stand here and talk to myself. Let's get it sanded. I'm just batting a thousand today, ain't I? Come on! I'll bring out the Super Stripper 1200. See? Super Stripper 1200. We'll try not to burn it. But we're going to melt the glue a little bit and hopefully it'll stick a little better. You heat up that wheel a little bit. Alright, let's see where we're at. It does feel stickier. Is it going to work? Time will tell. The way things are going right now, I might just have to pack it in for tonight. A little sander makes quick work of that. So we've got this rounded off nicely here and here as well as here and here. Now what we have to do is we got to work that inside edge and I'm going to do that with a hand sander. And then we got to round off. Just take the uh, sharp edge off of here. I don't like the routered edge. That's just kind of not what I want to do. I don't care for that at all to be honest with you. Did I just say I didn't like it? I don't like it. So all I do is I take the palm sander and I run it around the edge just to knock the edge off and round it over just a little bit. And that's all I do. But I will take this opportunity to uh, thank the uh, Super Stripper 1200. I almost burnt my neck there. Jesus, dummies. Uh, Super Stripper 1200 for the win. And uh, while I'm waiting for that charge, I might take a break. Coffee break, that is. Oh, by the way, these new hole saws, they are new. They are in the package new. In fact... There's the package. Couldn't cut hot butter. But we'll gnaw our way through it. Well, I didn't get a full charge on the battery. But I am down to one. And that's about maybe all of this whole saw has got left in it. These things are absolute garbage. But I only need one more. These things just eat the battery. I can feel the drill getting hot too. Alright, let's get her done. I know the solution to this is bigger batteries, but I don't have any bigger batteries, so we gotta make do with what we got. Can't begin to tell you how frustrating that is. I can't take another break. I just uh, had one, wait for the batteries to uh, charge. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to start on the next project, which is part and parcel to this one here. So obviously this one here, we got the, the flight board. This one here is just going to be a simple box. I'm going to cut it down a little bit here. And it's going to have sides on it all the way around. And you just basically put some decorative. I'm not sure what that was. You just put some decorative stuff in there. You can put candle in there or candles in there. You can put some greenery in there. You can put some whatever in there. Whatever she wants to put in there, she can put in there. I just thought I'd make it. And by the way, these boards are, as I said, they're Purple Heart. They're about three feet long, five and a half inches wide, and I paid $10 a board, U.S. 
you you just you get that stuff here and you're paying a hell of a lot more than that so i got it over at woodcraft in uh michigan in case you're wondering i just uh completed a whole session there and forgot to hit that little button on the top that says record you'd think that flashing red light at me would have said or lack of flashing red light would have said hey dummy check this but it didn't anyway this is what we're making we're making a box okay so this is going to be the bottom i just cut it down to size which you didn't see but trust me i did now i'm going to rip down the sides and then start getting this one sanded down to put together well any excuse for a break uh we're going to take it so the battery died on the drill would we do had a coffee break uh battery died on the camera would we do well it's now pushing 10 o'clock at night and uh, i think the battery died at about six coffee break turned into a dinner and then turned into a lazy session and then you know kind of is what it is but i did get some sanding done while the battery was dead so we got this all sanded down that's 80 grit this is 80 grit i'm about to switch over to 220 here in a minute so i can get it nice and smooth left to sand though is these these three pieces right here with the 80 then we're going to get it glued together That's better. A couple nails went astray. So you always gotta watch and take care of your fingers. Uh, been hit before, it's not fun. As with all our goals here, building things is uh, not to have a trip to the emergency room. That's all. The glue here is going to be the main bond. It's just the nails are just kind of holding it there, shall we say. All right. Put this end on here. What's happening is, is this wood is so hard <laughs> that it's just sending them another one see that just shot right out the side there you always got to watch where your hands are I'm not gonna put any more in that'll just cause me more of a problem I'm gonna get these here cut off and we'll put our end pieces on all right well here's where we are at for tonight that's our flight board all sanded down ready for the finish and this is our box uh, fruit be a tick trickier than what I thought but I got some nails here that just did not want to cooperate. Again, this uh, purple heart's pretty hard. So as soon as them nails hit it, they just want to take off. But we got the corners looking pretty good. We're going to let that glue set up overnight. And in the morning, we're going to put the finish on these. And then they'll be ready to go. See you all in the morning. It is the next morning and it is cold. Jeez, what a difference a day makes. Temperature's got to drop about 15 degrees. Anyway, we're getting started on the finishing touches. Got a bit of bad news to share with you all today. I mean, it is a absolute tragedy here. I may have just poured my last cup of coffee. My Keurig, uh, God rest its soul, been good to me. But it died this morning. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for coffee. Anyway, we got other things to worry about today. And that's going to be getting these boards done uh, in a hurry. So here's where we're at. Which it's early, folks. I, I can well, I can't talk on a good day, let alone early. So this is our uh, serving board. 
I think that turned out really, really nice. And we got our box, which also turned out equally nice, minus a couple of uh, strays. Some of the nails just did not want to work out properly, so we're going to have to address that before we put the finish on here. But as far as that goes, uh, I got it warmed up in here fairly good. I had the heat running all night. Like I said, the temperature has just plummeted. We got our dollar store foam brushes. Uh, where's our finish? We got our finish. It's time to get started. Let's see what we got. Look at that. That's just amazing. I'm going to save the handle for last because I'm going to need that to obviously maneuver this board around. That turned out real nice. So I'm gonna get some heat on that and while that's drying I'm gonna switch over to the box and I gotta fix some nails in the box because they decided they wanted to go astray and it happens. All right we got the box all sanded down the nails hidden best I could as you can still see some of the nails in there. We'll deal with that shortly. Really looks nice. Just the natural finish on this is impressive. Alright, there you are. Coat number one is on. I got some bubbles right there, but take care of those. Coat number one is on. Yes, I gotta do the handle yet, but boy did that turn out nice. Look at that. We got the heat going because it is cold out here and it's not that warm in the shop, so I like it. Now once that dries, I'm gonna give it a sand down, hit it with another coat, sand it again, put the last coat on. So probably three coats will do it. But I think that's where I'm going to call this video. You kind of see where I went with this, right? That is nice. I really like that. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. It's cold outside. I can't go fishing. Well, I can, but I don't want to freeze. I've mentioned that in another video. As much as I like to fish, it's just too cold. And she bought me all these new tools. So I got to use them. Or lose them. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm just batting a thousand today, ain't I? Come on!